Thank you, Scott. And it's great to be here with great friends. Thank all of you for what you're doing. As I look around the room, uh, I see the future uh, of our economy. I see the future of our security strategy. And I see the future of the solution to dealing with global climate change and other issues. So I just want to come here and salute you uh, on behalf of uh, the caucus. I do want to take this moment to thank uh, some of the people that helped help make it matter. Scott, again, thank you very much. Uh, let's give Scott a round of applause. He has been a diehard organizer of many of this important cause. I want to thank Carol Werner and Rachel Pearson for helping organize today. Thank you very much uh, for all that you do. Uh, Dave Riker, uh, great co-chairman uh, of our caucus, the Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Caucus from Washington State. Uh, couldn't be here today because he ended up having a conflict, but I do want to salute him for all his uh, good work when it comes to energy efficiency and renewable energy uh, issues. Um, and we have 135 members of that caucus right now, the Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy Caucus. We're up to 135 members. All of you, please encourage your members of Congress, if they're not already part of our caucus, uh, to sign up. So I hope after today, check the list, see if your member of Congress is on that list, and if he or she's not, call, call them up. You can talk to Sarah Shenning uh, in my office, or Colin Swanson, uh, I don't know if uh, Colin's here, uh, from uh, Congressman Reichert's office, but really we want to grow our ranks, so just as we want to grow uh, clean energy. Uh, thank you to all the uh, folks from the administration, uh, both from the Department of Defense uh, who testify, as well as from the Department of Energy. They've been great resources uh, to our caucus. And I do just want to thank the other House caucuses. You know, in the, in the House we got a lot of caucuses, uh, and that does bring a lot more energy to these issues. So I want to thank our, our partners in this, uh, including the House Sustainable Energy and Environment Coalition. I know Congressman Congo was yeah. here a little earlier. He's a member, leading member of that caucus. And, and Jim Hines, Congressman from Connecticut, uh, will be here later. There's also the Energy Savings Performance Contracts Caucus, the Higher Performance Buildings Caucus, and the Hydrogen and Fuel Cells Caucus. They've all partnered with us uh, for today's uh, gathering. So thank, thank them. And again, let me just uh, close uh, where I started, which is, um, <laughs> This caucus is designed to bring people together around the common mission of trying to make sure that we invest in innovative technologies to increase our energy efficiency and to use more renewable energy because we all in this room know that it's a win-win-win, right? It's a win for consumers, it's a win for the environment, it's a win for our security, uh, and it's a win for our economy. Uh, when all of you as entrepreneurs are investing uh, in the future. And, and the United States needs to be uh, the leader when it comes to the clean energy uh, battle. Uh, and because of you, uh, we will be in our job here on Capitol Hill is to try and make sure that public policy that we enact um, does everything we can to provide you leverage and accelerate uh, the effort. And uh, we've done some. In my view, we've got a lot more uh, that we should be doing. Um, that's a conversation that we need to have uh, in terms of the future of the House and the Senate and what the agenda is when it comes to uh, clean energy and energy efficiency. Um, there are lots of different ideas out there. Um, Scott said I introduced something yesterday, uh, but the, the more people we bring to the table on this issue, the better. This should not be a, a partisan question. This should be something that brings all Americans uh, together. So thank you for bringing us together today and for all that you're doing.